Good afternoon, all. Firstly, I would like to thank the London Institute of Banking and Finance for giving me this opportunity to speak today. I enjoyed my time with LIBF. The syllabus and support was incredible. I found the LIBF way of doing things was more client-centric and practical. They had the client in mind when designing this course. Secondly, I would like to congratulate you all for achieving the highest excellence in your careers. Last year has been a very difficult time for us, working from home, staying indoors, not traveling. I don't know about you, I miss the sun. You know what, the basic things like shaking hands, that is something that we take it for granted. This has been even harder for some of you who have lost the loved ones due to COVID. My thoughts and prayers with yourselves and your family. And I can guarantee you this, they're looking down very proud at you all. We are the result of our parents, their parents and their forefathers. So that's exactly my story. My father came to this country 15 years ago to serve for NHS. My mother works in the care sector looking after the elderly of our community. So the act of service is in my bloodline. During the pandemic, my father, alongside other NHS staff, risked their life protecting and caring for our loved ones. So a massive respect and big thank you to our NHS staff. My, my father keeps telling us this story over and over again. You know what parents are like. He said, son, when I came to this country in 2005, that's exactly how it goes, his head of the department, Margaret, asked him, Mr. Muhammad, why are you looking to work in the UK? My father's response without any hesitation was, I am here for my children's better education. This reminds me of a beautiful quote by Ali ibn Abu Talib. There is no wealth like education and no poverty like ignorance. Education is the fount of success. Education teaches us the difference between right and wrong. With education, you can break the chain of poverty. You all have achieved the highest excellence for me, after 16 exams and about a few retakes, I made it. I am now graduated with a chartered ship with the highest honor for my family. Mom and dad, right here, this award is for you. I hope you're proud. Thank you. The legacy must continue, we must go on. We all have worked hard to be where we are. We are privileged and honored. What's next? Some of you will go back to work, back to work tomorrow. You newly graduates, the back, will be looking at the new world and challenging it, bring it on. We're all fortunate enough to have something to look forward to, but what about the less fortunate ones? What about those? In UK alone, one in three children who are living in poverty are falling behind with their education. You all can play your part within a wider community and make a real difference. There are over 500 people in this room. You could go to your nearest school and give a talk on basic finance, basic budgeting. If you do that for a class of 30 students, You've touched and reached 15,000 people. Or if you find five people in your friends and family and you agree to sponsor one child in a third world country for free education, you've just changed two and a half thousand children's lives. The power of education is unstoppable, undefeated 
uncharted and unlimited. Why not take this opportunity to play your part? Finally, the legacy started from my father's job interview 15 years ago. It's with me now. Now I take on the responsibility to pass it to you. Let's make the world a better place. The change starts with you. Thank you. Thank you.